everybody, and welcome to today's vlog. Hey everyone, what's up? Alright, so I'm gonna make this quick. Alright, so for everybody who doesn't believe that I actually had this, um, it was kind of like, a, oops, sorry, sorry for the shaky camera, um, this online interview with Scooter Brad, um, well, you guys gotta shut up. I will put a little bit of a video of me kind of scrolling through the conversation that we had, um, just to, you know, show you guys, you know, that I have the recordings. And, you know, I have everything for, you know, this real interview. Um, thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day. And, yeah, make sure to watch the next video. Um, since the finals are coming out, I'm kind of busy. But um, I will be trying to upload as much as possible. Yeah, I have a few videos planned. I just have to upload them. I can ride now, so I have a little bit of footage for that. I will be putting that in probably tomorrow's video. And I have a video coming out. Um, well, not coming out, but I have a video that I'm going to be filming today, and it will be coming out very soon. I'm pretty excited, so thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day. So I started scootering when I was 10 years old old in 2016, uh, so I've been scootering for 13 years now. And um, I got into scootering because I used to skate, and I took my board down to like a beach spot like one time when I was on school holidays, and uh, I met these dudes there that had scooters, and... Everyone was kind of scootering, so I was like, damn, like, let me get one of those real quick. Next holidays, I went back with a scooter and just, yeah, just fell in love with it. Basically, it was just the most fun I'd ever had. Dreams and goals for the future. Uh, I plan on being one of the first scooter riders to hit the charts. And I want to reach a million subscribers one day on YouTube with purely just my scootering content. Um... Favorite local park, Paranoi Skate Park, Northern New Zealand. Favorite international park, <sighs> Corby, Linda Vista. There's a number of the parks in the UK, Dynamics. I mean, there's just so many of them, really. It's hard to put my finger on it. My biggest tip for young scooter riders is, is to just start scootering because you love it. Like, I'm somebody, and I don't think a lot of people in the community understand this, but my whole life is scooters. I live, eat, sleep, breathe scootering. That's all I do. That's all I ever think about. You know, I have my side hobbies and stuff, music and video production and stuff like that. But scootering is my thing. Hence the name Scooter Brad. Like, I'm just a guy that scooters and I always have been just a guy that scooters. Tricks I like doing now are tricks that I never used to do. And the tricks that I don't like doing now are the ones that I used to do. So... <laughs> Uh, my first, like, probably six to eight years of scootering, I was just a hard-out park rider. You know, I was doing all the kickless combos, all the flips, and all the buttercups, and the bri flips, and the bar spins, and all that stuff. And now, as you get older, I mean, my body kind of just made me slow down. Um, I have scoliosis, so my spine is just not up to par with park riding. I can't ride a small scooter, and honestly, I'm not sad about that. I thoroughly enjoy riding the way that I ride now. And I just do tricks that I feel like doing. Like, I'll still whip up a butter first go if I feel like it. But, like, I'm not a jukebox. I don't go to a skate park to do tricks on request by little kids, you know. Like, I'm out here just trying to scooter the way that I scooter, and that's that. My biggest accomplishment, in my opinion, is uh, building such a successful YouTube channel that's not based on fake content or purely my writing ability I you know I built my name up with news uh, factual stories you know just like reporting things around the space which is something that no one had done you know I brought something new and original to the scooter community and I feel like it's very widely benefited scootering since it started you know like people have you know there's thousands of kids that have started scootering because of my content and that is probably the proudest that I could be about anything is just bringing people into scootering because, you know, I want people to love scootering as much as I do.